Sin has consequences. God is a perfect God, and He says, you need to be perfect like me. Tell me how could God can forgive me better than I forgive Him? God can forgive you because He can send. No, how can God forgive me better than I forgive Him? I can tell you how. Go ahead. Because God can do both perfect justice and He can show perfect mercy at the same time. I ask you for justice and mercy, I ask you for forgiveness. So, mercy is forgiveness. Excuse me, each term has a meaning. They're not synonymous. So don't yes. tell me what English means. So, but mercy so is synonymous with justice. When and somebody justice is synonymous forgives someone else, they show them mercy synonymous. by not extracting forgiveness. punishment. Forgiveness, for example, if he's totally incapable of returning my money, I, to forgive him... You are is, not a perfect listen, person, listen, so you don't demand perfect listen, justice. Listen, listen. God demands you know, you know, perfect try justice. Try to understand the difference. To forgive him would be just thing to do, not merciful thing to do from my part. If he's it would totally... Not, no. listen, listen. Justice demands that you get back what... Or you exact the punishment, listen, listen. or you exact the exact... I will be... be I will be unfair not to forgive him. It will be just on my part to forgive him. And of course forgiving him is showing my mercy. In a court so, of law, if a murderer has killed someone and the judge says, I forgive you, is that just? I ask you the question, is it just? No. Why not? Because he has done something so wrong that he must be punished. So how is forgiveness then? A life for a life would be justice in that situation. And what case, in what scenario would it be forgiven? In what sense a murderer can be forgiven? In the sense that, um, well, not in a human court, it can't be. It so can't in a human, be in court, a human court, so in a human court, when the kings and the queens and the prime ministers, they forgive them from the death penalty, they don't kill them and punish them, they're not forgiving them? Uh, they're forgiving better than God, you're God. They're forgiving, but in a bad they're way. They're forgiving. They're, they're forgiving in a bad so way. So there's corrupted way, and okay. there's a perfect way. Right. So God, to forgive me better than I forgive him, how would have God done that? God forgives you in his son Christ. He sent the son, Jesus Christ, to the world to die for you, so that you wouldn't have to get the punishment you deserve from Christ. Uh, because Christ will judge you. So now, if you believe, now listen, now listen, now listen, if you accept what Christ has done on your behalf, God will forgive you, because the punishment has been made, and the forgiveness can be given. Did I ask him to get punished on my behalf? No. And you ask God to punish on your behalf? Wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. God did, will do what God sees as just. Listen, listen. Jesus Christ, who is your son of God, did he take my consent to be no. punished on my behalf? No, he didn't. Good. He loves you so much, wait. he knows that you're too wait. corrupt to want wait. to ask. Wait. I don't want Jesus Christ, the son of God, in your belief. And to, it doesn't matter if you want him or not. He's still finished. the king of the universe. He's still the king of the universe. And he'll still judge you. And he'll still judge you. That's absolutely right. I haven't finished. I don't want him. Okay. To be more the pity, my friend. Because you don't even listen to finish. I don't want your Jesus Christ, the Son of God, to be punished for my sins. I want to be punished for my sins, so okay. I want to be forgiven for my sins. And here's where Islam wait, and wait, Christianity wait, differ. I, Islam I says you, you can do enough to be worthy of God's presence. Can, can Christianity you says you can never do enough to be worthy. Reason? Christianity says you can never be do enough to be worthy of God's presence. Right, right. And so, so Jesus came to make a way for us to have uh, so the question, a big, relationship with God. Big so Christianity says no matter how many good works you do, no matter how many times a day you pray, no matter how many people you help, no matter what you do, no matter how much you love God, it's not enough. You can't do enough. Only Jesus Christ can come in and take your punishment on you and give forgive? you a relationship. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a relationship come on, with God. Come on, Who is going to forgive Jesus Christ? It's the truth. Nobody needs to know because he's perfect. He perfect. Jesus Christ you lived a perfect. Sin, you can be Jesus Christ yeah. lived a perfect, yeah. sinless yeah. life. Yeah, perfect. So if I kill somebody, you do not have to go to jail. Was it just on God to punish an innocent being like Jesus Christ for the crimes of the guilty? Jesus Christ submitted to God's will. Yes, he did. He submitted to God's will. God the Father sent him, and Jesus Christ said, I accept, Lord, your will be done. If was he in the court? Brother, brother. In the court, human court, yes. if the judge says, you know, this criminal, I will die on his behalf. Take the death penalty. That's why perfect justice can't be done in this world. Because 
You don't even let me finish the question. You because try answering it. By dying on his behalf, you can't What's my save. Question? What's my question? By dying, by a what judge. What is my question? That you're by a judge dying on behalf of the murderer and setting him free, that doesn't do any justice, and nobody is raised. The life isn't given back. The uh, judge's life is unfairly ended. There's no justice in that. So you believe Jesus Christ died for everybody or some people? Everyone who calls on his name to be saved. And anyone who doesn't call on his name, he didn't die for them. He died for them to be able to do that, but they that. won't do that. Did he die for everyone? Because the death has taken place, right? Yes. Okay. Did he and die the for resurrection everyone? as well has taken place. Available. According to your belief, did he die for everyone or not for everyone? He died to make forgiveness available to everyone. Right. So basically, it's a conditional thing. It's available to everyone. Yeah, available. Nothing you do can add to what Christ has already done. You merely say, I accept Christ. So, Jesus Christ, He is God and He's taken all the punishment on Himself. That's right, yeah. So, God, rather than saying, I forgive you, yeah. He says, no, I'm going to self-mutilate me, I'm going to punish me. So, rather than saying, I forgive you, He says, ah, I'm going to punish myself to forgive you. He says, yes. he says, I'm sorry, that's God is doing. God is saying, rather than saying, you're forgiven, he says, no, I'm going to kill myself. If you note, in the New Testament, nowhere does it say that Jesus took his own life. Sinners took his life, the, the Jews, the Romans, and people exactly like us Who sent took Jesus, Jesus Christ to die? God sent his son, that whoever called on his name would be forgiven. God? sent his son. God the Father sent Jesus Christ the Son right. to earth right. to atone for our sins. That's right. If and now, Jesus said, Lord, I want your will to be done so much. Who did, who did God the Father love more? The world or his son? God the Father loves his son because he's perfect. Um, no. He said, God so what? loved the world that he, he sent, sent his only begotten son, son to that whosoever believeth in him right. should not perish, right. but have everlasting now, life. Now hear my question. God is willing to sacrifice and kill his own son because he loves the world. That's love. That's so, love. So, so, so does he love his son more than he loves more? Greater love has no man than that he gives his life for that of his friends. If you love your friends so much you're willing to die for him, that's perfect love. Did God show perfect love or, or selfish love? God showed perfect love. Here where you where he's wrong. If imagine I have a son, right? Okay. I'm gonna show you Can how. your son atone for everyone's sins no. in the world? Listen carefully. Okay, listen. I am. Listen. If my son was able to save someone and to die for someone, and I had the option to be also dead, yeah. kill myself okay. instead of my son. Do you think it's more, more loving to send my son to be killed or me going there to be killed? And here's the difference. The difference is, if you died for some, to save somebody else's life, they would still eventually die. But Jesus came so that you could have eternal life. I'm talking about father and son. Yes. What is if it? you sent your son to die for someone else, they would still is eventually die. Why did the father not die himself? That's the question, my friend. Because billion dollar question. Because the was son, selfish? the son does what the father wills. No. Why is the father being selfish? Rather than killing himself, rather than punishing himself, he punishes his own son because he loves the people more than his son. Because again, you're misunderstanding what the Trinity is about. <laughs> why is the father so selfish? Rather than being all loving, so this is rather twisted. than punishing himself. He punishes his own son. The father loves Jesus no, he more than everyone else no. in the world he because he's perfect. Son. But he also loves the world so much that he's willing to send Jesus to die on our behalf. Christ what understand. don't you understand about if that? If someone loves his son so dearly, he's not going to let his son die. He will die on his behalf instead. That's not. Do you not get it? That's not uh, how the Trinity operates. The Trinity operates. <laughs> if you have a son, will you sacrifice yourself for your son? I will sacrifice myself, yes. Right. Why did the father not sacrifice himself but sent his son? Because the son said, I love you, father, so much, I want to do this for you. We know the son loved the father, but the father doesn't love the son. Exactly. That's why he doesn't die on, instead. The father he sends his son. That's selfish. That's not just. That's no. not merciful. No. Jesus Christ and God the Father and the Holy Spirit are all of one mind, are all of one mind, 
and Jesus loved us, God the Father loved us, and the Holy Spirit loved us. And they also love each other. They also love each other. If, no, you're, if in your you're twisting and you're lying. If in your belief, brother, if in your belief, you're twisting and you're lying. Let me say something clearly. If in your belief you had the Father dying, taking the punishment himself and saying, Son, you stay there, I will take the punishment. You perhaps had a case. It's, oh, you know what? God is loving. He loves the Son. He loves the world. That's why He kills Himself. But you have a selfish God, the Father, in your belief, who sent That's His a lie. own Son. It's a fact. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. It hurts. It hurt God the Father. It hurt God the Father more than anything to be separated from His Son when He died on the cross. Did God commit suicide? God did not commit suicide. What did He do? He was sent on a mission. And the mission was accomplished by sinners like you and I killing him. So what we intended for evil, for what God sin? intended for good. For what sin of Jesus that he was killed? None. Jesus so was an spotless. innocent person was killed? Yes. By sinners, Is just? by God. Is that just? No. That means what God has done by sending an innocent person to be killed or murdered, that's unjust. It was unjust for sinners to kill Jesus. God to send an innocent person to die of no sin is unjust. God did not kill Jesus. Excuse me. Sinners God killed Jesus. God sent Jesus for what? To have potato? No, to die on the cross. To die. So when God sent Jesus Christ to die, an innocent person having no sin, was that just or unjust? That was, it was... Brother, brother, let him think. It was God's perfect justice. So God sending, imagine God sending an innocent yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, but just let me use you, you can't, fine, fine, you can't what, use what, what it you in how, human terms. Go ahead. Explain it. How do you justify an innocent person being sent on the death penalty? And, and how is that just? In okay. your view. So, God has ordained that when people sin, Blood must be shed to cover over it. That's why in the Old Testament, the Hebrews, the, Hebrews, was for the, crimes. the Hebrews had to kill lambs in order Do to cover problem? over their Do blood. I problem with the guilty paying for the crimes? No. No, wait, ah, wait, 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 wait. That's not what I said. I didn't say the guilty paid for the crimes. I said the lamb was slaughtered in order to cover over the sins. And in that logic, in the logic that God ordained, in the logic that God ordained, where a lamb can cover over the sin of a person, he sent his son to be the perfect lamb. So in the Old Testament, the Hebrews had to constantly, every time they sinned, slaughter another lamb, put it on an altar, and burn it up as an offering to God to say, God, I'm sorry, please forgive me. And every time they sinned, they would have to do that over and over and over again. But God, in his perfect love and perfect justice, sent the perfect lamb, the lamb that had never sinned, the lamb that led a perfect life, the lamb whom the Father loved, to die in our place. So instead of slaughtering lambs anymore uh, and having our sin covered by blood, so, so, so our idea, let me come back to this any point. idea of justice that doesn't involve a blood remember, sacrifice for sin is asking? not real, it's not true. You see, you need to understand. It's a false justice. Yeah, buddy. You it's need to false understand. Yeah, buddy. You need to understand the question that is asked, yeah, which is, seems barbarous which is to our sinful true. minds. Let's try to understand the question. An innocent person yeah. is sent to be killed. Yes. Or for our the crimes sins. of the guilty. Yes. How is it just in whatever way that God chooses an innocent person to be punished for the crimes of the guilty?